Hello, little White House friends. It's Miss Lynn, and it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for OT group. Are you ready? Let's shake out and warm up our arms. Shake it out. Good job. Now we're going to do our O and our T. O T. O T. Great job, guys. Now your arms are ready. Today we're going to learn about the hungry little caterpillar and do a, a bunch of different activities that go along with that. So come on, come with Miss Lynn. So number one, here's number one. We've got some caterpillars and we're doing some um, stringing, learning how to string beads. Miss Lynn didn't have any beads today, so I was using Fruit Loops. And you can use anything, anything that'll fit on the pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna have to take these off. Off and put them in here. Now I'm gonna show you how to put one on. And there's actually two together. That might work better to hold it. Push, push. And pull, good job. So you can fill up all the little caterpillar's legs. And that's a great way to hold and place on. And it gives us a little strength to put those on. So that's one thing. Now, look in here. Miss Lynn made a caterpillar out of my Easter eggs that were left over from Easter. And do you see, they're all just placed on my two pipe cleaners. So we're stringing again with pipe cleaners. I'm gonna show y'all how I started it. You can start with any part of the egg, top or the bottom. I use the top and I twist the pipe cleaners together to make the antennas. And then as we're pulling up, it won't come off the top. So we can push things up and they'll stay in place. So, and that's what I did. I'm gonna put this to the side. And that's what I did with him. And I put all the different bottoms and tops on. And in here with where he was eating on his leaves, I have the bottom and I'm gonna end it for us. We're gonna complete this caterpillar. Let's see, so I put one in the hole, note on, and then put the other one in the hole, hold both ends and push up. And then that is the bottom of our caterpillar. So we made a hungry little caterpillar. I'm gonna twist at the bottom and pull tight and cut this off. And so now I'm gonna put him back in with my leaves that I got from outside so he can have his little snack eating there because he is very hungry. Now let's see our new color for this unit, which is starting Abraham this week is green. And so to make green, Miss Lynn didn't have it. I used yellow and blue. And I mixed them, put them in a little Ziploc bag. Now I'm going to zip it closed. And then we just squish it around and squish, 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 squish. And just mix all those colors together. And it makes green. See how the blue and the yellow mix together to make green? Miss Lynn had already done it here, so here's my green. And now I have two pretty leaves that I got from my yard, but there were no caterpillars on them. So I'm gonna make a caterpillar to go on my leaves. Open this up a little bit. We could use anything. We could use something small and circular like a chapstick, the top of a water bottle or a paint bottle a marker, toilet paper roll, that would be a little bit big, but I'm gonna use my finger. So I'm gonna dip my finger in and use it just like we do one little finger. So put it on the leaf. And there's one green dot, and I need more green dots to make that caterpillar. Two, I'm gonna do four, three, and one more. Four. There's my little caterpillar on my leaf so he can eat. That's the first thing that he eats when he's very hungry is a leaf. So 
So we are all finished with our painting. And Miss Lee's gonna wipe her finger off. Oh, we could also make a caterpillar this way and put dots here or peel stickers off and put them there. And we could put a number here to show how many dots we need to make. Like if it was one, there'd be enough dots. If it was three, we would need two more dots to make one, two, three. So that's another caterpillar that you could paint. So we're all finished with one and we're all finished with two. So now, I'm gonna bring this leaf over here to number three, which is, we're gonna feed this hungry little caterpillar. He is empty, he has nothing in his tummy. He needs for us to feed him. And I have, well, we'll do the leaf first. We can either tear the leaf. I could cut the leaf and see my little caterpillar. He's gonna cut it just like he's eating it. We could cut the leaf, or we could hole punch the leaf and see our little caterpillar again. He's gonna hole punch, so he's eating the leaf. Yum, 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 yum. And he made holes in that leaf. And now we can pull some more off and let's feed this caterpillar these leaves. Open up, caterpillar. Yum, yum, he likes those leaves. But I'm still hungry, his belly is still empty. So let's see, let's do, find out what we have next. There's an apple. Let's hole punch that apple. Let's see, I don't want to go through, there we go. We can go all the way through, I'm having to twist a little bit. There we go. So this caterpillar is eating it, and now he's going to feed it to his friend, the big caterpillar. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you, Miss Lynn. You're welcome, Mr. Caterpillar. And he could do more and more. We have oranges and pears and plums. And we could hole punch each or cut them. And we're just, I'm just going to feed them to him now, one at a time. Yum, 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 yum. He sure did like that pear. Here's a plum. Yum, 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 yum. Now he's gonna eat the orange. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, now his belly is full and he is a bigger, fatter caterpillar. So there we go. And this is another thing we could do with cutting. That would be a good cutting activity too. Just with a paper plate with that caterpillar who was watching us cut and hole punch. So we're all finished with that part. We've got our hands working so nicely now. We're gonna do some reaching. So come with Miss Lynn. I have a caterpillar here. Look, my caterpillar, his head is there with his antennas and it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And Miss Lynn can push him in. Push, 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 push. One, push, two, three, Four, five, six, now they're all in my box. All the balls are in my box. I could hold it up high for you, down low for you. You could stand up tall on your knees. You could stand up on your feet and reach, or you could sit and reach and have fun with that activity and it's just a box. And we can open it up and empty it out and put it back in here and start all over again. Great job reaching and playing with my balls and my caterpillar over here. Now let's go to my window. I've got another surprise for y'all. Come on, friends. Well, I'm gonna get my knees again. Do y'all remember when we did this in class and we tried to put it on um, without being wet and it just fell off? The foam pieces aren't sticky. But when we put them in the water, that little caterpillar will stick to my window. Look at that. But he is hungry, he is so little. He is little and that's one of our words. And what did he eat first? I got some leaves from outside. He ate that leaf first, didn't he? Look, that leaf sticks to the window. Let's see, what about an apple? He ate an apple and an orange and a pear 
and a plum. Ooh, here's another leaf. Let's just stick it right there. Look, it sticks out a little bit. We can even use puzzle pieces. Just like one little finger, that's number one. And we're reviewing all of our numbers for the next three weeks. So that would be a good thing to do to find a puzzle, puzzle that has your numbers that are foam and they will stick to the window too. Or a tray or a platter, anything when it's wet. And then we could just start over again and put it all back in the water and have lots of fun. But this little caterpillar ate, ate through that, ate through all of this. And guess what? He became a fatter caterpillar. And he, look at all of his colors. He became a fat, fat caterpillar. And then he got so, so tired that he made a cocoon and went to sleep. And when he woke up and came out of his cocoon, he became a butterfly. So if you have butterfly foam pieces, they will go on here too. And I'm gonna put all three of my butterflies on my window. Good job, friends. So when y'all go outside, when spring is in full swing right now, you might see flowers growing. You might see bees buzzing. You might even see a, a butterfly. You might see a caterpillar, but be on the lookout for the caterpillars and the butterflies and you can remember our story and how that very little hungry caterpillar, 888, got big and became a butterfly. Okay. This is a great group, guys. I had a lot of fun with y'all. I miss you very much, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye, little lighthouse friends.